In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do perfect picket spacing for your front feature fence. In this example, we've got an exposed post picket fence, but the idea is the same uh, if you don't have an exposed post fence and it's just straight at the front. There's many ways to skin a cat, but the way I'm gonna show you is gonna give you the best results. I'll show you how to take all the guesswork out and get absolutely premium results. Before we start talking about picket spacing, let's talk about the importance of post spacing. When setting your fence post, try to make your post spacing even, as well as setting your posts plumb. This will give you a great foundation to work with. If you can't achieve perfect post spacing, at least try to get them close. We can make up the difference later when working out our picket spacing. Now to measure the top and bottom of each fence bay. If you've set your post to plumb, it should be the same measurement. Make sure to jot these measurements down. In this case, I managed to get all my bays even except for one. That's not too much of a problem as the measurement wasn't too far out, but it also gave me a good opportunity to show you another example. Now it's time to pull out our phone and use a baluster calculator. I like block layer and I'll put a link in the description. When you're in block layer, the first thing you'll see is that it is in millimeters. If you want to change it to inches, you can go to the inch version, just like that, and that'll change everything there. But for this example, we'll just stick to millimeters. So here we've got the length. What we're going to do here is change that to 2240. The member width, this is the size of your pickets here. I've got a 68 millimeter picket. Then we move it over to member ends is another important one. Here you'll see that it shows no ends, which means there's no member at the ends. If you were doing a gate, you would change that to both ends so that the pickets end on each side of the gate. But here we're going no ends. The max spacing we wanted for this job is 20 millimeters. And then all we need to do here is calculate. So here you'll see that we've got our post, then we've got a space, then we've got a picket, space, picket, space, picket, and so on and so forth, all the way to the other end. Here we've got 26 members and 27 spaces at 17.5 millimeter spacing. So I'm pretty happy with that, it's close to the 20 mil. Now let's just go back to our other example where we had a bay at 2236. So let's do that now and calculate. You'll see our spaces are now 17.3 millimeters. So that's hardly noticeable and that'll look really great on the fence. So back to our 2240, let's calculate that. And now we've got our measurements. Now here's where my little trick of the trade comes in. For this first example, instead of trying to balance a tape measure on the rail to mark off the picket spacing, get yourself one of these Taylor's measuring tapes. You can then clamp this to the rail, which makes marking off super easy. Obviously, when we start marking off, we can refer to these measurements here. and We can just measure off 85, 171, 256, 342, so on and so forth. Or we can actually come down here and use this speech tool. So this will actually read out the numbers for you. So you can press speak and you can set the duration here. I'll do two seconds. 85. 171, 256. The speech tool comes in very handy. It allows you to mark off your picket spacing without having to constantly look back and forth from your phone. Now that we've marked off the top rail, it's time to repeat the process on any other rails in the fence bay. Another handy way to mark out multiple fence bays that are of the same distance is to make a story pole. Essentially, you mark out all your picket spacing on a straight piece of timber. In this case, I'm using a picket. Now you can just hold your story pole up against the rail, butt it up against your post and start marking off. 
if you can get a piece of timber that's the same width as your fence bay, that's great. But if not, just mark up to where you can, then line up your end with your last mark, then continue on. Now you can just repeat the process on all the other rails, on all the other bays that are of the same distance. As you can see, this makes the process super quick and easy. Just another great reason to try and get your post spacing even, just means you can fly through marking off your picket spacing. Now you'll have yourself a whole bunch of markings along your rails for your pickets. Time to bring out some pickets so we can attach them to the fence. So now that we've laid out all our perfect picket spacing, it's time to chuck some pickets on. The method I'm going to be using is first I'm going to be nailing them off with the brad nailer and then I'm going to come back afterwards and then screw them all in. Remembering that I marked each of my picket spacing on the right hand side of the picket, I now just line up the bottom rail mark and the top rail mark to the right side of the picket and nail it off. The great thing about marking out each picket spacing opposed to using a spacer block is that if there is a deviation in the thickness of the pickets, let's say some were milled a millimetre thinner or thicker, which can happen, it will not be noticeable. If you use a spacer block and you have these deviations, it can affect you when you get to the end of your run. And you may end up with either a really wide gap or a really thin gap which will obviously stick out and be very noticeable. Don't forget to pull out your spirit level from time to time, just to make sure your pickets are all plumb. As you can see, with all your picket spacing marked out and you're sure you're all plumb, you can really fly through attaching your pickets to the fence, whether you be nailing or screwing off as you go along. Just need to add some finishing touches to this fence, but you'd have to agree that those are some perfect picket spaces. With a little know-how and a little effort, you too can achieve this perfectly spaced out picket fence. And there you go, just like that, we've built a picket fence with perfect picket spacing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna keep seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any questions or you know a better way of doing this, drop a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.